one and only Gloria Doyle on the show today. Yeah, how are you, a Big Sam? Sunji, how are you doing? Great, great, great. So without much ado, we just let you introduce yourself in case of people who don't know you or know you for the first time, you never know. Wow, wow, wow. Anyways, my name is Gloria Doyle. Um, I could say I used to be a gospel artist. I used to be an evangelist ton, an IFA advocate, you know, um, a mother um, of three graduates, um, a cosmetologist, and just me. <laughs> That's a lot to take in. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we must warn you today, if you're watching us, we're going to be navigating from different topics to another because, like she just mentioned, we're dealing with someone of multiple character here today. So it's only... Yeah, it's multiple, yes, um, in entertainment, they call me controversial character. <laughs> ah, okay. We'll get to all that <laughs> very shortly. Okay, uh, Gloria Doyle, um, how is your campaign going? Let's start on a very serious note. I noticed of recent you're trying to uh, tackle a social media that is taking over Nigerian uh, Nigerian youth, yes. the ritual thing, ritual killings. How far have you gone with okay. that? Yeah, let's just eat it on the yeah, on the high. Yeah. Note. Um. Sorry, take your question again. It's cracky a bit. Uh oh, I see. So I was talking about your campaign against ritual killing. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 How is it going? Yeah. Okay. Yes, um, actually, um, it's, it's sickening and it saddens my heart to see that um, ritual killing is um, has taken over the norm in the society right now. And um, it's more sickening because um, it has to do with the youths. You understand? It has to do with, with the youths because I just believe that, number one, um, people have lost focus. Oh. Direction. Wow. Yeah and focus and direction. And that is why people are just trying to see how they can, um, how they can, um, how they can find their way, you understand? Because they have been misdirected, you understand? Um, ritual, I believe that ritual killing just um, became something that people are really um, grabbing, like, okay, this is the way. The people see it as just the way and the means to, becoming rich or becoming wealthy or becoming successful, which I know it's the life from the pit of hell. You understand why? Because the generation before did not lay a good legacy for this youth, for the youths, you understand? So it, 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 it's, like I said, it's, it's saddening, it's sickening because lives are being wasted and destinies are being cut short unnecessarily. Do you really see a way out of this menace? Sorry? Do you really see a way out? Ah, the way out is it's it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because number one, number one, the government has to be very stern. You understand? Very, very stern with um what with with judgment and with justice. Very, very important. Number two. I will tell you that relig religious houses has failed, religion has failed. Oh. Because if you, if, if you find out, some people will tell you, especially those that they were caught, they will tell you that um, imams, that they went to their imams, their imam told them to bring this, they went to their pastors, their pastor told them to, be, to bring that. So religion has failed, you understand? And then parents, parents too failed. Because if, if, if a parent, because there's this adage that says, or from the Bible, let me say, it says, um, teach a child in the way to go, and when he grows, he will not depart from it. You understand? So a lot of these parents failed to train their children, to instill a sound doctrine into their children, you understand? To, to give them a good path line for them to walk, you understand? You know, so it's going to be very, very difficult because if at all, they, they they need to um, they need to bring it to a stop. Parents need to work with the 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 religious um, the religious um, sect or the religious sector, yes. And then parents and the religious sector needs to work with the government. Without that, we cannot we can nobody they cannot bring it to a halt. Without that, wow. Because we need to create a, a, we need to create 
enough awareness. We need to make a lot of people know that this thing is wrong. You understand? Like right now, I'm trying to work with most of the Ifa priests because I've tried to find out from if the from the Ifa priests, they said that Ifa does not, even in the corpus of Ifa, does not permit the shedding of human blood. Yes, for rituals, Ifa, Ifa can take the, 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 the blood of animals, but not human blood. So in one of the Odus, which they call corpus, it's not there. It's not. It's not permitted to take human blood. So I'm working with them. They'll be. They'll be. They'll, they'll be shedding more light on it. On this. On this particular issue. You understand. And they, they are making me to want to know that there are some people. There are some people that are. Um, there are some bad eggs. Let me use that. There are some bad eggs that will tell them that ah, they want to do ogunwo. That they can do ogunwo. So it is now left for all of us to come together and see how we can fish this particular set of bad eggs in the Ifa practice. You understand? If at all it is true that they are the ones that are actually um, giving suggestions to these young ones. But from the from what I've seen and from what I've heard, I've seen one that happened in I think in Ondo State. It was a a pastor a pastor for Keribu and Serafi that actually told the boy and the mother to kill the girlfriend for ritual. This was a girl that the father struggles to train in her final year, 400 level, and they just wasted her because one, sorry to use this word, hopeless mother wants his son to drive Bugatti and they decided to end another person's lives and another person's destiny and another man's daughter you understand what i'm saying so yeah. it's it's sick and it's, it's it's saddening it breaks my heart because i have kids you understand and you see this is what i'm talking about bad parenting from from when my kids were in secondary school i started telling them about i don't want to see you with 419 or yahoo work hard let your hands your your hands will pay you better it might be slow and steady but definitely you win the race, you understand? So I, I actually sat them down, especially the boys, to make them understand that hard work pays. And wherever they are today, I think they are actually following that guideline and it's helping them out. Wow, well done. And I want to encourage you not to give up. And we, do, we sure need more positive people like you around in Nigeria for us to Thank you. survive this menace and so many other problems we have. There are just too much. We can't begin to enumerate them. So let's uh, come back to uh, come to our next question. So from Yeye Gospel to Yeye Oshun, you know, moving from the Pupi to the Far uh, Shrine, if I may say that, how? What's... Yes, 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 yes. Um, yes, the gospel, the gospel journey took all of my life, you understand, from my childhood to, let me say, to last year, I so much believed in the Christian religion, but along the line, I I, I will just tell you that Christianity, in, I don't know about the, the world out there, but in Nigeria, Christianity has failed. Pastors are liars, they are dupes, they are self-centered, they are selfish, you understand? So everything that the Bible says that is anti-Christianity is what most of them practice. You can't find love. You can't find love in the Christian dome. Everybody is self-centered. Everybody wants to, everybody thinks, you think for them, for yourself. But when I read the Bible, I find out that most of what I see them practice is not in the Bible. Okay, for example, I was invited to a church to come and minister, and I saw boys wearing earrings and doing all those things and tattoos. And no, but no pastor is talk, pe preaching about it because in the Bible, it's, there in the book of Leviticus, no tattoos, but they are encouraging those people. They are even putting them in in the choir department. You understand? Nobody is talking about all those things. Fornication is escalating in the church. Nobody is talking about it. Even between pastors and even congregation and pastors and and the congregation's wife and and things like that. And I just saw that is this what spirituality is all about? And I I am I have always been very spiritual spiritual conscious, you understand? The beliefs, I, I'm so deep in spirituality and, and I began to say, God, is this really what you want? And in, in if we now look going deeper, I just found out that most of the time, like two, three times when I would dream, I would see this, 
this, um, I, I, I don't know if I should see, use the word angel or deity or orisha, uh, with this crown and they put our and one on it. But I did not understand what it meant. Awa, awa, awa. I, I didn't know that God was trying to tell me that there is a better way for me to have a connection with him. There is a better way for me to be connected spiritually because like I was saying, when I was in the church, there was no connection. Everything there is, everybody, you just look at people, you you, you don't, you, I, you might not really understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like a pastor telling you that, oh, okay, Gloria, you're a very good singer. I want you to be like in my choir, anywhere I'm going to minister, you need to be going with me too. You know the way they do these things, you, you have the pastor we have, but the most the only thing that I, I'm, I have to be the only person sleeping with you. And I know your wife for crying out loud. And that is tried adultery. So yeah, other people are doing it and getting away with it but because of the kind of heart and mind I have. I don't think I want to do it because I cannot. I cannot finish committing adultery or fornication with you, and then I pick up the microphone on the on a, on a crusade and start shouting, "Oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord!" Then I'm deceiving myself. You so you know, yeah. Uh, sorry to cut you. So are you trying to finger the? Uh, Pastors, they are part of uh, the reason for your conversion to Ifa religion. Are they the cent they they part of it? They are they yes. major in your decision? Yes, you know, you know, because I run a TV program, and this TV program has to do with um, culture. Mm -hmm. So I, I used to go from from place to place, from state to state, to cover most of these Ifa uh, Ifa festivals, and I began to come very close to most of these babalaos, and I said, wow. Wow, this is how the Christian dom is supposed to be like. You understand? If you see a true Ifa practitioner, they will tell you when they are reading there, because you know they have, you have the Ifa Bible. When they will tell you, tattoo is, a, is against the law. Then there, they will tell you, you understand, you understand? Whatever they have, they share. The reception I I got from them is is warm than the pastors. It's easier to reach to them. It's easier to communicate with them. It's easier to liaise with them. The pastors, you need to go through protocols. That the Jews, yeah. That the Jews. But here yeah, are the, 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 the oh man, they are so warm. The far practice, the far religion is warm. It's beautiful. It, you you feel peace. You feel your inner peace when you're practicing it. So I cannot opt for where I found peace to where there is competition, tribulation, there is war, there is, you know, a lot of bitterness there. So I cannot, you understand? So I, if, if, I think every, every, human, every human has the responsibility to, to fight for peace and wherever you find peace, you stick there. Fair enough. Uh, is Wherever you find peace, like you said, that's where you stay. I'm yeah. happy for you if that works for you. Yeah, sure. So let's move uh, 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 backward a little to music, where uh, which is your natural consistency is your industry. Really? So your yeah. song um, is let me have Olua for lack of yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, is there any plan to because I can't find it anywhere on the YouTube. I search and search. I said okay. Is she gonna do a remix, maybe to you know to bring back life into it? Honestly, if I'm coming out again, I'm going to be coming out with songs for Ifa. I won't lie to you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you know, I'm, a remix of no, that particular song. No, 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 no. If I'm going, if I, if, I, if I'm going to, if there's any way I'm going to convert it to an Ifa song, I don't mind. I can use the rhythm and change the lyrics. But I'm going to. I'm actually working towards coming. Out, um, I'm working towards, you know, I'm just coming into this Ifa practice, you understand? So I have a lot to learn because it's so deep. It's so, mm -hmm. so, so I have a lot to learn, but I know that between now and next year, I should be able to drop something that have that patents Ifa. Okay, we'll look forward to that. If that's the direction you want to take, that, 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 that's it. Right. <laughs> Please do. Okay. Um, at this point on this show, we normally when we have music, a musician to for them to sing for us. So now I know your direction is changing. Regardless, you're still a musician, whether gospel, whether if I. So please, uh, the floor is yours now, uh, superstar. If you want to give us. Uh, hey, let's 
Oh, I was working on it's called if I blow, I go blow, it's a go blow. Okay. Um, <laughs> you caught me on the way. Uh, if I blow, plenty people go blow. That is why I the hustle maker for blow. If I blow, plenty people go blow. That is why me and the hustle make up for blow. We go blow, say, you go blow. I go blow, say, you go blow. We go blow, say, we go blow. That is why we the hustle make me for blow. Amen. Mm. Wow. Wonderful. Nice one. Thank you so much. I look forward to the perfect production of that. Uh, yeah. Already. Uh, but that actually, I'm going to skip my next question to another question because of the lyrics of that song is trigger me to move, for, you know, to skip a little quickly. So that uh, because this song was saying, if I blow, uh, you know, other people will blow. It says something about your personality, if I can interpret it, that you like to help people. Yeah. You don't yeah. Blow it low. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm going yeah. to move forward to my quick question and I'll come back to my uh, the, the sequence. So um, I have these people on my list. Where are they? Yeah, that, um, yeah in the past, you've complained uh, about helping people, you know, when you help them to blow. Exactly, you know, to what you're sing, singing now. But after they've blown, we don't see them again. So we're looking at people like, um, I've seen their name now, Mumaji, Queen Onakala, Sonny Neji, <laughs> Felix Liberty, Pasuma and Tony Tetula. So, uh, in the past, you complained that these people didn't, uh, 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 they didn't mm -hmm. give them, yeah, they didn't appreciate what you did for them. But now you see, saying if you blow, other people will blow. Yeah, uh, people. I'm still doing it. It's, it's a natural thing for me to see people struggle with their with their talent, and um, and um, if I have the means, I pull them through. It might not be me giving them money. It might be me giving them a connection. Um, sorry, my me me be uh, giving them a connection or a word of advice or something. You understand? Well, yeah, it's true. At least I knew how I was able to give Queen Onokala my song. You understand? Back then, give her my song, got Pasuma to sing on the song, and at the end of the day, I was just um, I was really maltreated by her. I cannot talk of Pasuma that would leave his place at uh, where's his place? I'll, um. Oh, what's this place again? And come to my place back then. In um, I was with um, Osaro Naiwu, if you can remember Osaro Naiwu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was working with yeah. Osaro Naiwu. Yes, I was in our office, was in Jerry. They were coming. I can remember Tony Tetrila that I wanted to, and I was actually still working then with the, the, the likes of Adi Bender, Tony Tetrila, and all those big boys, you know. And they were like, ah, no, yo, I want to be, I want to, I must be on their show, I must be on their, show, you know, and you know, like that, Shagun Blessing. I, I did a lot for them, but I, I found out that but I did, uh, to, uh, Queen Onokala, Umaji came to Lagos, she was stranded, you know, sleeping inside her car. And I was, I look, me, me, then I was living in, in a one bedroom self container. If you can manage with me, you know, and we were struggling. And the first hit she got from um, Star, I think it's Star Quest, and, and she just became this big chick that could not reason with me and all this stuff. So, it's just naturally, naturally inbuilt for me to help people, but that does not mean that um, because people have disappointed me in the past that I won't stop. I will stop helping. I just believe that someday, someday, God has a way of um, doing His own payback. Okay. Just it. And uh, for Felix Liberty, he didn't really uh, complain about helping him, but in his case. Yeah. So this is what happened when Felix knew that when Felix Liberty knew that I had a call and the call was really a very strong call. He was actually struggling with his ministry in Oregon, so he couldn't continue with it, and he already had a place. And he said, "Okay, Gloria, why don't you come and start up your ministry here?" And when he saw that the ministry under six months were hitting like two hundred people, he just became very—I don't know if I can use the word jealous or something—and then. It just became very nasty, you understand? So that was just really, that was why I mentioned Felix Liberty. Like, how will I do all this? And then you just want to come and tell me now that it's your place. Fine, it's your place, but 
you had given up, you said Christo Coach has said you should go back to Benin, continue Benin. Okay, Gloria, why don't you come and use this place? So when he just felt like, okay, that I was collecting tithes and offering because he saw a lot of people, then I should be giving. I said, no, even if I thought there's even tithes and offering coming in, there's a lot of things to be done in the church. Some people come to me, they've not eaten, they need to eat. You understand? Some people were some people were homeless at that point, sleep in the church. That's why well, that is if I told there is a word church, that is why God actually ordained play institutions like that so that you can help the helpless, you understand, and give assistance to those that need assistance. So at the end of the day, we all, we all fell out, but I give God the glory that at least God was able to navigate me through some other things. Okay, that's about that. Fair enough. So uh, I want to know, I've always wanted to know now that I'm talking to you live uh, now, are you related to Patrick Doyle in any way? No, no, no. My industry, daddy. <laughs> no, we know. We just happen to be at the same sunny. Are you from the uh, Edo State or Delta? That's also another grave, yeah? I'm from Edo State. I'm from Ekpoma in Edo State. Okay. So because you can't believe everything you see online, is there somewhere they said you're from Delta? And I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Edo State. Though my mom is from Delta. Okay. Okay, maybe that's where they got that from. It's all good. <laughs> we all it used to be the same Bendel or the same those days. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, your song, uh, "Pray." There's a song you were, it was uh, widely publicized, but I didn't see what happened to it. Uh, what, what was uh, end of that story? Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, pray. I'm asking you to pray. Just keep praying. I think I'm going to drop that because pray, you can pray in Ifa language, you can pray anyhow, anywhere. So um, I'm going to, actually, I didn't do the video. You know, I felt sick at a point. Yeah, uh, we're coming to that, yeah. Yeah, I think that was, that was actually what happened. I felt sick. I felt as much, yeah. Oh, sick. Sorry about that, and I want to believe you're fine now. And wow. Question, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay now? Are you doing uh, elsewise now? I'm doing good, you know. Yeah, at that point, I actually thought I was, um, life was slipping out of me, you know, because I had this gallbladder stone issue, the right kidney issue, and I, then I used to hear that a lot of people that went through this kidney issue didn't survive it, but honestly, mine was just a miracle. I think because God still had some things to do with me, I was just a miracle. The operation I was built for, I didn't actually do the operation, but I was placed on some supplements, you know, that's like to build up my um, kidney back and dissolve the gulf. So. Wow. Congratulations. Happy for you once again. Um, and I say you medium again to thank everybody that came to, came to, um, came to risk to my rescue the likes of uh, Nathan Embassy, Nikki Laoye, Funka Kindele, all of them they all came I mean it was wonderful you know the industry rose for me I even though I felt that nobody even knew me but the industry rose for me and it was uh, and that's why I cannot disappoint the industry now. Yeah but before then I know you said the industry rose for you but it will seem like you mentioned the individuals but collectively like the P-man and the Nollywood you also belong to as an organization, were they there for you? No, 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 no. I don't, no, no, no. They, they, nobody, I'm just, that's why I was picking them individually because they, they, they rose up for me individually, not collectively. No, Gloria is a gospel artist. Let us come. No, 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 no. Not even a church. So do, do you think the uh, insurance scheme, they, you know, I've heard so much about it from the Nollywood or their guilds, Actors guild this and that. Is it really working? The P man medical. I think you know, I, I, I believe you 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 are you're on the social media and you see how most of them die. They die. Maybe some of them are sick, nobody to even come to their rescue. Actually, you see, you see, you, you read a lot of things. So that's just to tell you that all these things are not working. Those that are sitting down eating the phone, you know, they are eating it. It's just like a it's just like I can tell it's just like a syndicated kind of thing. So the, those people that are in charge of it, they know how they are making their money. But those of us that are struggling artists, until we blow very, very well, we know the next thing to do. But for now, they don't. I don't really see them help. A lot of a lot artists die now, both young and old, and you, you'll be shocked that they belong to a body. You understand? You'll be shocked that they belong to a body, and no, there's nothing what's coming out. So, what reforms do you think is necessary in that regard? 
as, See, as a practitioner. If, 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 if we can get artists that are selfless, you understand? If we can get artists that are selfless to run that industry, they, that understand the plights, the struggles of artists, then the, the industry will be able to move forward. As long as you what people we have there are gluttons, greedy people. people so so you make me laugh now. Sorry about <laughs> why you call them gluttons. So it's okay, go on. <laughs> yeah, but it's true, they just want to eat, 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 eat. You know, so you know, we, we still keep struggling there because when you when you when an artist an an artist you're supposed to pick up a royalty for an artist. Maybe you pick up a royalty of 10, 10 million for an artist. And then you're giving the artist 2 million. What happens to the remaining 8 million? It goes into your pocket. And the artist is happy because the artist has not seen 1 million before. And you give him 2 million, it's like, wow, wow, wow. Not knowing that he is supposed to get 10 million. Not good. So, yeah. So that's what we are facing back here. Still sad many years down the line. Uh, and I know Chief Tony Okoroji has really done a lot in terms of his royalty collections. Uh, aside from him, is there any organized way where you get to pay out your royalties in Nigeria? Do you get your royalty, uh, Gloria Do you get to pay your royalties? I, I'm registered with um, Coson. I've not seen it. It's only once Coson give me money. I've not, I've not gotten anything from them anymore. If it's like that, some of them have the likes of Chinedu has pulled off out of Kosan. Why did he pull out of Kosan? Why did why is he forming his own? Because everybody wants to make money for their pocket. That's why I stopped believing in or in everybody. They used to have MNSC or something like that. They used to have it. They used to have um, they had about three or four that were actually having some kind of loggerheads with um, Chief Okoroji, but you know, it's they they belong to a particular cackle. So and I'm not this kind of person that wants to. I have things that are running in my head, so I don't really have time to start. Who is don't have energy money. for. No, 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 no energy for, for no energy for bad vibes. <laughs> yeah, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I was thinking. Um, do you really imagine that probably if you had done entertainment now, that earlier on, it would have been better for you? Or to put it in another way, do you think you did entertainment too early, you and your generation, in terms of? Uh... I I did not I did not do it too early. I believe that um, number one, everything works together for good for those that love God and are called according to purpose. I just did like I said, what actually went wrong with my own career was um, the kind of greedy people that I worked with. You understand because um, my late former producer Kunle Agbola, late Kunle Agbola, Kitma Records, messed up my musical career. Messed up my musical career. Then there was this war that was going on between us on the, on the newspaper. Then there was no social media. So it was newspapers the back then, you know, and um, until Uncle Dele Mombadu told me that, no, shh, you need to shut up. Everybody knows you, but nobody knows Kunle. So it's you that they're going to tarnish her image, so I have to calm down because number one, like you're talking about the remix of um, Falakemi, I never had my masters. I never got my all the jobs I did then. I never got the masters. He seized my masters. He seized my money. You understand? He, he because in Alaba, it's re, it's recorded um, that I was the first gospel artist that Alaba would give pay a royalty of one million as at 2005. Wow. But I never even got 10,000 out of this money. By the time we had a meeting with the marketers and everything, he said he used the money to uh, refurbish his studio. So what do I do? I had to start from square one. And starting from square one is not really easy. Here you understand. So I just, that's why I never had faith in working with anybody. I said, well, when I get to the point where I can, you know, push myself, I'll push myself. And I know that I'm getting to that point. I believe so too. I'm hopeful. <laughs> so we have yeah. we always have to cup as half full rather than half empty. Yeah. So yeah, I, I want to actually ask you something because based on some of the uh, facts available to me, it appears you've been wrong so on so many levels. 
And I don't want to say maybe you didn't wrong other people too, because you're probably not going to be a perfect person. No uh -huh. human being is perfect. So it seems many people are caught. You just hold on, please. Yeah. So I, I read somewhere that you say your sister, I don't know how true it is, took your husband, and now you're uh, Kunga Agbola now, from what you just told me too, it's like another person has hurt you. Too many people seem to have hurt Gloria. So as an Ifa devotee, do you believe in forgiveness? Does Is that an option? <laughs> Can you see I'm smiling? It's good to see, smile. <laughs> see, okay, look, somebody, somebody destroyed my musical career, not my life, my musical career, to a point. I'm still alive to reshape organize things. You understand? As for my sister, as for my sister it's, it's not even, it's before I was too ashamed to talk, to say it. Too ashamed to tell anybody that this is what happened. My three kids are all American citizens. I've struggled three times to get the American um, visa. Um, they refused because they said, my name is not on the documents of my children. Why? Because when my children were traveling, my their father used my sister's name as their mother. So it is recorded in America, in the system, that my sister is the mother of my three children. Thank God that my children did not forget me. Thank God that my children just, they finished school, they are trying to get on their feet and they said, mom, we are going to fight it when the time is right. So I'm not going to tell them that when they are trying to put their lives together, they start fighting for me. You understand? I only tell them, just pray that I'm alive. That's all. You understand? And they support me as much as I, they can support me and I support them as much as I can support them. Let me tell you the truth, Tunji. Do you know that this, this year makes it 14 years I've not seen my children? Yes, 14. I was too ashamed to say it before, but I think with the strength if I giving me, I'm ready to say it. 14 years, I only talk to my kids on phone. Oh, so how many, how many women can go through that? And I'm still standing. And this, my sister is in America. Even though they are not together anymore, but at least she was able to use their father to make a life for herself. Then why deny me my own life? The harm has been done. Yeah, I get your point. Yeah, is she really your uh, some? You know, in Nigeria, we have relative sister, sister, or your no. biological. I, I'm the I'm my mother. I come, I'm, I'm from a polygamous family. For my mother, I'm the first. I'm the first because I lost the ones before me. The first. There's a boy after me. Another boy. She's the next girl. From the same mother. Yeah. When this thing was hap when it was happening, my father just told me, Gloria, there is a law of karma. May he so rest in peace. That there is a lot of karma. So what do you want to do? It's my cross. Even when I came into the IFA practice, and when I will, you know, when you are coming, I don't know if you know much about IFA. When you're coming into IFA, yes. when you're here to tell you, you know, they need to give you the order of your life and tell you about your life. It's it's all written in it. And when if IFA could tell me that, even no pastor will, no pastor was able to tell me what they told me about myself. And when I saw that, oh, it's part of the cross I need to carry. I embraced everything. So forgiveness and forgiving. If if before Kule even died, let me tell you the truth. When they were trying to um when they were trying to raise some money for him, you know, from donations, I told them, I said, Well, it's just that they they, they hid everything for me. I was I should have been able to get some some gospel artists for, for a fundraising concert for him. So that's the kind of mind I have. If I see my sister tomorrow, I will embrace her. It has happened, it has happened. They stole 14 years from my children's life, my 14 years. As, what hurts me sometimes is the fact that it was their formation period. You know, for the fact that prayers, and then I talk to them, no, don't do this, don't do this. It's their formation period. I was not there. My three children graduated school, high school, university. I was not there. You know how painful it is? You know the trauma? But at the end of the day, I just believe that Oglora is because you're strong. Strong thing happens to strong people, so you're strong. So what about those uh, people you, we talked about earlier on? Are you in good terms with them now? Who? The people, those who have, uh, you know, those who you have to oh, blow? If I see anybody, I, 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 see, the, the thing is that I, I, I am on my lane. 
I'm not, I'm not, you won't see me socializing or anything. If you, if you're going to start seeing me now, anything that you're going to see around me just has to be with a fact. That's just the simple truth. I've taken years to find my peace and I found the peace and that is just it. So all this, um, I don't, I don't socialize anymore. Most of the time they send me invites. Oh, red carpet is red carpet that I said no. But now let me find myself. I think I've found myself and now I can step out again. You understand? So if I see, if maybe if I go out any of the days and I see any one of them, oh, how are you? If I see Mumaji, oh, hi. Twice, I think I've reached out to Mumaji on the Instagram, but she did not respond. Sorry, excuse me, I'm on an interview. So when I'm done, I'm coming. Sorry, excuse me. I'm talking to somebody from my office. Okay, uh, that, that's fine. Life goes on, uh, like they say. So uh, I, I want to ask about this Ifa thing. We're coming to the end of the show. I see you busy now, so I won't take it too long. Yeah, so uh, the, on this Ifa thing, are you just going to be, because you knew in it, like you said, a practitioner, or do you intend to go into research? Because people like me, my interest in Ifa is more about, I'm not a practitioner, but I read a lot. So uh, as a voracious reader, I, I research anything, I, I don't mind. So I know if our thing is big in terms of research in America, in New Orleans especially, it's big out there. So are you doing you things, you, are you also an intellectual in your own right? So I'm like thinking, are you going to go into research as well in terms of IFA, propagating it? Actually, I'm actually on the journey, I'm on the journey to research. I'm so really when you say you're on the journey, do you, are you in, intending to go lecture in schools or you want to set up like your own center where people can come learn about it? Um, seriously, right now, um, actually with um, my own Olu, my father. How is that? Um, Chief Dr. Ifa Sheiba Mikole Fasomi. He is the Oba Ella Ifa Agbaye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, he, um, I'm actually under his total age. You're learning from him? Learning from him. And apart from that now, I am in charge of his media. So anything about Obai Laifa, you know, putting a lot of things out there. So at the same time, I'm learning and I'm doing my media thing. So it's just like that. That's, oh, that's OK, that's fantastic. And lastly, we're coming to the end of the show. Funny how time flies when you're having fun. So as somebody, uh, I, I would like you to close the show after you have uh, answered this question. So with this song, there's this is your particular song I like so much. If you can do that, I appreciate it. It's called like, I Know. Are you, do you remember the song? I Know. I know. Oh, just hold on, please. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> it's going to be what you, you do. You right? my songs, man. Yeah. So uh, my question is because as somebody. I did my own cry no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one. Or is it somebody else's song? But I send you. Oh, no, no, cry no more is mine. Yeah. So yeah, I talked as much. Yeah, but I like it. We we have it. So um, I wanted to answer this question. Then you know, do cry no more. That'll be that'll just sign us out of the show. So I was thinking, like somebody who is coming from a Christian background, like you said earlier on, you're interested in religion, you deep into uh, the spirit thing, you are spiritual. So do you think there can be harmony in Nigeria someday in terms of all religious harmony, all religion coming together? That's one of my problems in that country. So you seem to be somebody who can answer that question based on your background and where you are today. Christianity and Ifa. Um. Ah, uh, no, 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 um, I just went around now, no, 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 because um, a lot of people are egocentric. People, some people want to be, ah, oh, no, it's me, I'm the boss, oh, I'm the leader, I'm this, so people are not ready to, you know, people are not ready to submit or humble themselves, you understand, before others, so it's going to continue to cause clashes, both religious clashes, social class, everything. So until we are able to understand humility, once we're able to understand humility, then we'll be able to unite. Uh, but as long as we don't understand and embrace humility, we cannot there can cannot be in 
healthy form of unity in Nigeria. That's the gospel. So, dear viewers, there you have it. She's been blunt. Uh, that's typical of Gloria Dor. She tells you how it is. Uh, she encourages us to have humility in Nigeria if you want to achieve religious harmony and peace in our land. Okay, that'll be the end of it for today on our mm -hmm. show. Like you said earlier on, funny how time flies when you're having fun. Now, over to you, superstar. <laughs> that line. Crying no more. Crying no more. Crying no more. Better cry no more. Cry no more. So cry no more, cry no more, better cry no more. You don't need to cry, you don't need to worry. <laughs> you don't need to cry no more. <laughs> Let me stop it there. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming on our show. Goodbye. Yeah.